<laughs> What's up, ladies and suckers? It's TVE365, and I got a very special review for you guys today. Today, I'll be reviewing what I think is the most overrated place on the whole entire planet Earth. Freaking in and out, bruh. People think this is the hot stuff. People think this is the best thing ever. When you come to California, they always tell you to go to the beach and go to in and out It's not that hot. But it's been a couple months. I don't think I actually I think it's been all of 2016. I did not think I had any in and out So now that I have gotten a couple of food reviews under my belt, I'm kind of getting down this tasting and describing the taste to you guys. I think I am more mature, or my taste buds are more mature, and I think I can give you guys a good review on this In-N-Out Burger. Now, I was gonna go to In-N-Out, or not In-N-Out, Burger King, McDonald's, get a whole bunch of burgers and eat them, but I'm like, dude, I'm trying to, I'm kind of watching my calories. I'm not really watching my calories, I'm more calorie glancing, you know, before I eat something, I may glance at the calories, make sure it's not too much, you know, just watching, just being aware, there we go, just being aware of my calories, so I think, I think In-N-Out is a good place, a good burger. It's a good burger, but I do not think it deserves all the hype that it gets. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this review. Now, I'm going to review the whole combo because I got a drink, a uh, shake, strawberry shake, french fries, and a burger. So, we're going to start off with the shake. Let's eat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. So thick and rich. I always knew in and now had the shake game. Shake game, I knew they're untouchable. They're great. The only thing I don't like about these shakes is they always taste sugary. I don't know what it is. It tastes like they just put like blended strawberries, put a scoop of ice cream, and there's tons of sugar in it. That's the only thing I don't like about them. But they taste really good, man. This tastes like I, this tastes like I'm sucking up strawberries. Like there is no artificial flavor to it. This sound, feels like I'm just shooting like tasting the straight strawberries. It's like strawberry, strawberry and sugar. That's all I taste. Mmm. Mm, that tastes nice. If I had to rate that shake, bad. All right, good Gucci and TBE. That shake, Gucci boy, it could be a TBE. It could be a TBE, but I think most of that flavor or most of that taste, it comes from all that freaking sugar they pound, put in that thing. So, Gucci, that's a great shake. I'm gonna take one more sip of this. Mmm. Oh, that's a great shake right there. Definitely try their shakes. Strawberry shake from in and out Definitely go hit that up if you ever come to California. I know you guys want to see me taste the burger, but we're going we gonna to beat around the bush a little bit. We're going to taste these fries. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys again. Their fry game, good. This tastes like natural fries. It, I taste the potatoes. I don't taste these Mickey D's fries, which taste like, don't even taste like potatoes. They taste like just... I don't even know, they got their own taste to them. Like, these taste like potatoes. I am eating cooked potatoes, bruh. Uh, I feel so natural. These feel like I'm freaking healthy, man. Mmm, these are poundies, bro. These are addicting. I don't know what they put in these fries, but I can't stop, you know? I can do this all day. Shoot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's like popcorn. You always wanna go back for more. I really have no complaints about these fries. They're not overly salted like some of these places do. They're not under salted. It tastes like just freaking straight potato, which I like when it tastes, I like when it's under salted a little bit. But sometimes it's just dry. Like you're just like, like you know what I mean when your fries are just dry? That's your dry fries are usually with the fries that you get when you're at school, man. Anytime you get fries at school, they're always dry. Like, that's what I mean by dry, those type of fries. But these are perfect, the perfect amount of salt, the perfect amount of cook. They're not baked too much, so they're like too crunchy. You know, they're, it's just, they're smooth and nice. It's easy to eat, man. Bad, good, I right. Gucci and TBE. In and out fries, T B E. T T B E. T T B E. B, uh, pick my ear a little bit. T, T, B, E. Now, it's time 
for the main event. Here you guys go. This is what everybody always says. When you come to California, get you one of these. An in and out burger. Every time you go to California, make sure you stop at in and out Stop here and get you a burger every single time. Come on, man. It's not that good. All the hype. The reason for these long lines. Is it worth it every single time I go to in and out Long lines. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Always got long lines. Don't matter what time of the day. It could be two minutes to close or two minutes to open. That thing is packed, man. This burger right here is what people want. They don't even have a variety in their menu. Most of their menu is a secret menu. I don't think it's going to be worth the hype. The bun is already, I like it in the bun though. The bun looks like it's perfectly crispy and baked. But I like my buns just a little bit baked. Not too much. <sighs> Let's see. It's good, man. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you guys right now. I may have a little bit of a bias to things like in my weekly pickums when I always pick the Eagles because I'm an Eagle fan. Or when I bash on Madden Ultimate Team because they have Michael Transactions and I hate Michael Transactions. So I may develop a little bit of a bias. If you want to know one thing that doesn't ever lie or have a bias? these taste buds and if I taste good quality food no matter where it's from no matter what people say about it when I taste food these things never lie now that burger a great burger better than Mickey D's Burger King but I don't know about those mom and you know those Tom's burgers you know those little kind of uh, they're not like mainstream burgers. I don't know about those ones. But this burger brings something new to the table. It's that secret sauce. Let me see if I can show you guys that sauce. Whatever that is, that brings that oomph to the burger. It's like all the burgers are missing this thing. It's that sauce, man. This burger got that sauce. The lettuce. It's, a, it's good lettuce. I'm not gonna lie. It's good lettuce. Tastes natural. Does it taste like modified lettuce or genetically modified lettuce? Tastes natural. Um, they went to the farm and picked this lettuce out and then just threw it on my burger. The patty tastes like a barbecue at your granddaddy's uh, birthday family reunion barbecue uh, burger. That's what the patty tastes like. But it's that sauce. That sauce, like the sauce is the main thing in the show. And the X factor, that underrated thing is that dang bun. That bun, probably the best, I'm spinning all over the place. That bun, probably the best bun I've ever had on a burger. That bun complements the sauce and everything very well. That nice crunchy kind of taste you get. The bun just kind of helps everybody out, kind of pushes the thing along. The sauce is in the front driving it. But that bun, that crispiness of the bun. Mm -hmm. If you're a burger person and you live somewhere where they don't have In-N-Outs and you like burgers, that's your main thing you go. When you go out to eat, that's the main thing you want is a burger. And you never try the In-N-Out burger, I would tell you to go try it. I'll tell you, you know, when we come to California, check out some beaches. And then after you're... Long night at the beach, you and your homeboys or homegirls, head over to the I'll get you a burger. I'll suggest it, man. And I think I underrated this burger, man. It's better, better than I thought, man. Mm. This shake is so good, though. Goodness gracious. In and out. You ain't that bad, though. Hold up. The cons. I before I rate it, I want to talk about the cons. It really does not have that many cons. Or it doesn't have any cons. The cheese is decent. Don't, you don't really taste the cheese. The lettuce is great. The patty is basic. Nothing spectacular. But I think it's really the sauce that surprised me. It's that sauce. So, hope you guys understand the rating I'm going to give it. Bad. Alright. 
Good. Gucci and TV. Ooh, we this burger from In and Out. Gucci, bro. Gucci. Now, burgers are gonna be very hard for me to give to TBE. Because it's gonna take everything. Patty has to be phenomenal. Something that I've never experienced before. Because I experienced that type of patty before. That's a very basic barbecue patty. But for a burger to be TBE, it's gonna have to take it up a notch. Make your boy have to think about his life. And that patty was all right. That patty might have been the reason they got a Gucci because the patty was good, but was it that amazing that I will want in a patty that's gonna get TBE? So, hope you guys understand the rating. It's TV365, and why not go get you some in and out when you come out here, boy? Go ahead, go ahead, man. Get you some French fry. Get you a shake, strawberry, and then finally get you a burger. Oh. Hey. Hey. Up. We said up. Hey, throw back. Hey, 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 hey. Oh.